Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing the musical theatre tag. This was created by Maddie at Book Browsing Blog. That is so hard to say. I'm a pretty big theatre fan. I mean, these are the only two I've seen. But obviously I've listened to a lot of soundtracks and you know, definitely can't watch them anywhere. Yep. When I saw this on her channel, I immediately was like, yes, I want this. So let's get into this. Question number one is it's Hamilton. So it's based on the song Satisfied and it's what is a book that had an unsatisfying ending or needs a sequel? So in this one, I focus more on the unsatisfying ending more than the needs to sequel part. And so I went for Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare because obviously this does not need a sequel. But I suppose there is going to be a sequel series. Like, I did not like this ending. I did not like the ending of this trilogy. I just did not like the ending of this particular book. So this is Sandra Clare's third series. So there's more instruments, the Infernal Devices, and then these ones. It's hard to explain why I dislike this because spoilers, but I will just say I found the ending really, really stupid. <laughs> I'm ready to rant about it. So if you don't want to be spoiled, um, I'll put like a spoiler warning up on the screen. So the reason I dislike this is because it's because of the ending. Well, I wasn't the biggest fan of the whole way through, but I thought the ending was really, really bad. So basically, at the end of the book, Emma and Julian, because of their parabatikers, turn into true Nephilim, which is basically, I think they're actually in the Bible, but they're like these giants. And so they kind of like go on like a rampage nearly. And it's like resolved by like Julian's family slash, you know, they're kind of Emma's family. Uh, being like, stop, don't do this. And then they like shrink back down to normal size. And I was like, that's it? That's it? <sighs> like, <sighs> like I know it's a story that revolves around family and everything, but I was like, that's so anticlimactic. <laughs> and then kind of leading on from that, this, the whole trilogy was leading up to this parabatite curse, what is it? Like, how to solve it? And in the end, it was solved and nothing came of it. They didn't get in trouble. Like, there wasn't like any like, you know, separation so they were no longer parabatite or anything. It was just that they turned into giants when then when they shrunk back down. Well, you're no longer parabatite. Go be romancing. <laughs> and I was like, that's that's it? And I just, I did not like it. <laughs> and that's fine. Everyone, to each their own. Um, but yeah, so, super unsatisfying ending. So then, question number two is based on the musical Everybody's Talking About Jamie, and so it's based on the song of the same name. So the prompt is, what is a really hyped book you want to read only because of the hype? And for this one, I went with a book that I don't actually own. I'm going to go with Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I feel like I'm not a romance reader, which is why I wouldn't like normally pick this up, but everybody is talking about it. Well, they were. Not so much anymore, but everyone was talking about it. Everyone loved it. And it's, and I'm like, don't do it because you're probably not going to like it. But then I'm like, everyone. I don't know. I'll see. <laughs> Prompt number three is based on the song Journey to the Past from Anastasia, which I love that song. It's name a book that features flashbacks or developed backstories. So for this, I went with The Dark Vault, which contains The Archives and The Unbound by V.E. Schwab. And so this one, it contains flashbacks. So this is when she is 16? Mackenzie, our main character, she's like 16 in this, but it keeps flashing back to her childhood and like memories with her grandfather. And I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm in the second book. I'm using a nail file <laughs> as a bookmark, but so far I'm really enjoying it. Just be more chill. This is the song Michael in the Bathroom. If you were escaping a party by heading in the bathroom, which book would you take with you? Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. I would take this anywhere with me. And I would probably stay in the bathroom forever and just finish this and then be like well that was fun bye <laughs> so question number five is based on the musical six which i was supposed to go see this year and i don't think it's gonna happen uh hasn't been officially cancelled but 
So this is the song X Y X from Six. So it's name a book that is a twist or retelling of a well-known story. So for this, I'm going with Spin It On by Elizabeth Lim. I believe I saw on her Instagram that it's two stories, but I can't remember what the second one is. So, but it is also a bit of a Mulan retelling. So instead of like going to war and stuff, Maya is a tailor, and her father is also a tailor but he's, you know, sick and everything. And so when the royal messenger summons her father to go to uh, like the summer palace to like compete for the spot of royal tailor, Maya, you know, dresses up as a boy and goes and competes. Like when I heard that it was a Mulan retelling, but it was sewing <laughs> instead of, you know, fighting, I was like, how does that work? And it works well, <laughs> is how it does. Um, I was, this was actually a really interesting book and I can't wait to read the sequel. So then question number six is the last five years, so the song Still Hurting, and what book hurt you and is still stuck with you? For this one I'm going with Sadie by Courtney Summers. This hurt me. <laughs> I read this in March so it hasn't been too long but I still, every so often I'm like just thinking about it. So Sadie by Courtney Summers, this follows Sadie, who is a teenage girl and she is looking for revenge because someone has killed her sister. It's open-ended, is what I will say. It, and that I think that's so effective because most of the time I'd be like, no, give me a solid ending. But it worked so well with this book and it just made it stick with me for just so long. If it, like if it was a you know, full circle or whatever. I would have, I probably would have just, you know, been like, oh, that was a good book, and, you know, kind of just put it back on the shelf. But I still, I'm still thinking about this book. It's so hard hitting, and yeah, I can't get over it. It is so good. So then, question number seven is Come From Away. So the song is Me and the Sky, and it's Pick a Book that features a dream job, real or fantastical. And I couldn't actually think of one. I don't know what my dream job would be in real life, never mind fantastical. This is Newsies, so Santa Fe, so what fictional place would you love to visit? And for this, I chose Red London from the Shades of Magic series. I would love to visit there. It seems pretty cool. Like, it's just the way it's described and everything in these books, it sounds so magical. And this is one of my favorite series ever. And that's probably why I want to visit Red London, as if it's a real place. Number nine is Waitress, which is another musical I was supposed to see this year. And I also don't think I'm going to get to see that. So the song is When He Sees Me. And so what book did you fall in love with the second you saw the cover? I wouldn't say that I love this book, but the cover, I fell in love with this cover. And this is actually my favorite of the series. I'll just show you. It's The Wicked King by Holly Black. I think this cover is stunning. This is, I think I gave this four stars, but it's my favorite of the series. There's actually a lot of the covers here that I really like, like Sadie and Spin the Dawn and also the Shades of Magic series. Number 10 is Dear Evan Hansen and the song is Disappear and it's hype and underrated backlist book. I read a lot of very popular books. I read a lot of hype books and I read a lot of new releases so I was kind of trying to think and so I went for this one um, which is The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. I don't see a lot of people talk about this like I'm not sure did they like used to when it came out. So this book it takes place in like the future and so it's on like a different planet and it follows Todd. He's about to become a man in this world and he's the last of the men in his village town to become a man because all of the women were have been killed off by this virus and so basically in this world all of the men have this noise like everything makes noise like dogs and like just like all of their heads constantly noise so it's kind of like you can read thoughts their thoughts and all that he's so Todd is just about to turn into a, be a man in this town when he comes across an area of complete silence and so it kind of just stems from there and, you know he thinks that it's impossible I would give warning Todd is not like an educated like boy because they stopped teaching them and so in it you can see it because like the way the spelling and grammar is it's so like 
it literally says um, instead of because or cause, it says cuz, as in C U Z. So it's stuff like that. So it takes a little bit to get used to, but I would totally recommend it. The second book is my favorite, but I really enjoy this series. So, so the last one is Legally Blonde, and the song is What You Want. And the question is, what do you want to see more of in books? I have a couple. I want to see like platonic friendships. We don't get enough of them. They always like evolve into romance. Just platonic friendships. Also, just books with no romance whatsoever. The last one is like a bonus prompt and it's pick your favorite musical and recommend a book that reminds you of it. My absolute favorite musical is Wicked. It is one of the first musicals I like fully listened to and it's also the first musical I actually ever got to see. And so it definitely has a special place in my heart. And I can't really, obviously it's based on a book, which I haven't read. And something I've realized while kind of doing this, like Lame is also is based on a book. And then like Dear Evan Hansen had a book based on it. So, which kind of gave me the idea, like, would you be interested in seeing a video where I like read musical books? <laughs> so, and like, if so, like give me some recommendations of books based on musicals or musicals based on books. This is a bit of a stretch, <laughs> but um, I'm going with This Savage Song by the E. Schwab and you might be like, what? <laughs> and I kind of just went with it because Elphaba from Wicked, so she's kind of seen as this like monstrous person and nobody really likes her, and but she's actually like really kind-hearted and she just wants to do the best for everyone. Like, and I feel like that I connection between Elphaba and August, like he's just, he might, he's actually a monster, but he's one of the sweetest characters that you can like ever imagine. And like, he just wants to be like a good human. And so I was like, I kind of saw parallels between them. Like everyone sees them as something that they're not. And they're actually both just like really, I'm just they're just little cinnamon rolls <laughs> um can't really draw many um similarities between Glinda and Kate except for they're both blonde and I mean I'm just saying Glinda could hurt you <laughs> and Kate also would <laughs> um but other than that they're quite different but I just I just because of the main characters I was like also I love both of them if you'd like to see a video where I read like Wicked and like Dear Evan Hansen and like there's loads. There's Han with Yapra, Les Mis, all of those. Um, you know, tell me, give me some recommendations. So I do hope you enjoyed this um, awkward attempt at a video. If you somehow did, subscribe. Uh, this was a complete mess of a video. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.